everyone so i know i look a hot mess right now but my hair has not been washed in like four days because i want to color it and color sticks better to dirty hair it's just what i've experienced and i'm pretty sure it's an actual thing but i'm off today and tomorrow thank god i worked like six days in a row so i am like i need my days off you know so today i pretty much just I keep going like this because I think I have my glasses on and I just put my contacts in because it's easier for me to see when I color my hair if I'm not wearing glasses. That way I don't get stuff all over my glasses too. But pretty much just been doing laundry. I had so many dishes I had to get caught up on. And I really want to declutter my closet today too because um, I've been thrifting a lot lately and I am just running out of room to put everything. So... I need to do that today um but yeah we're gonna color our hair my hair i should say um and i got if you guys seen my last video i got this rusk hair color from the supply store and it's in the shade 4.62 rv now my natural hair is probably i would say probably a four or a five so normally i just get four or five that way i don't have to lift and i can just deposit it only you know what i mean so we got the rusk uh, developer 10 volume um it's not zero lift but 10 is what you use if you just want to deposit color into your hair um look at my little mug it's a smiley face mug my mom got this for me got some coffee because i ran out of my stoke coffee and when i made it this morning i had this much in the cup I was like, mm -mm, it's not happening. So anytime I color my hair, because as you can see, my sink is very white. My sink is very white and I always lay down a black towel because I do not want to get anything on my cabinet because if y'all know, red does not come out. Anything that is a red shade, it does not come out. So I just pretty much cover the whole work area with a black towel and then I also dry my hair with where am I gonna put my coffee I only have one glove because I ran out of gloves and I didn't buy those because I didn't think I needed them because I had a box in there but the box only had one in it so I'm pretty sure that hair color said it was mixing ratio one to one and a half or one to two I don't have anything to mix it with. I need to go get something to mix it with, BRB. I literally got a fork to mix the color because I don't know, don't ask me why. So, I don't know, I just kind of guesstimate. I'm gonna say probably here. I just put it in my little tent bowl. It smells like hair color. It smells just like any other hair color I've used. Uh, developer. Not prepared for it, y'all. Not prepared for it. My hair is really thin, so I honestly do not section my hair at all. Let me see it. That's pretty much what it looks like. This developer smells nice. And I usually just mix it until it's like an icing consistency. I think I put a little bit too much developer. But yeah, I'm like, I just need to color my hair before I wash it again. Processing time on this is like 30 to 45 minutes. I usually leave it on the longest, the longest time. All right, you want to mix it until it's smooth, no clumps, which this mixes very well. You can already kind of see the red mixing in with it yeah hopefully it's going to be as dark as i want it being that i got a level four it should but bug. all right so i'm gonna pop my glove on and i guess start applying this stuff like i said i don't section my hair any sort of way i just kind of start at my roots and work down because i'm not lifting there's really no reason to do any extra shit all right so yeah let's do it
tell you the only good thing about having thin hair is it's easy to apply hair color because every time I've done it this way, I've never really noticed any spots that I've missed. Hopefully I don't jinx myself. And then once I'm done applying it, I'll just like squish it around my head and just to make sure every piece of hair is covered. Yeah, look at the back of my neck. I definitely got it on the back of my neck, but that usually always happens. And you can take a uh, fingernail polish remover not fingernail polish remover, freaking alcohol is what I meant, or a baby wipe. <laughs> fingernail polish remover. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. And yeah, we're pretty much all covered, and processing time, like I said, is 30 to 45 minutes. I'll probably leave it on the full 45. Hey guys, I'm in my sunroom because you can see the color a little bit better out here with the natural light. And it turned out really good. I like it. I love when I do my own hair and it turns out decent. <laughs> so, yeah. You can see the violet red a lot more in the natural light. But yeah, I'm happy. It turned out really cute. I like that color. It's pretty much the same color I always do, but I feel refreshed. Here's a better clip of me not looking like a complete potato, y'all. But I am in my living room. The lighting is still not as good as outside. But I figured I would show you with my face on what it looks like. But yeah, very happy about it. Hi, I have a really small uh, thrift haul. I went to a few thrift stores um, in like a town that's probably about 45 minutes away and I got some cute things. So let me just show you. Um, I didn't get a lot, but I usually find like really cute things. So I'm like, why not show you guys? So this is a very pretty um, velvet top. It's in this really pretty like bluish purple like indigo shade. And this is actually a Target brand. It's a New Day. It's a New Day, which is a Target brand. It's a size medium and this was $2.50. I could not pass this up. I will insert a clip of me trying it on and I'm just like, yeah, I love that. I need it in my life. And then the other thing that I got, which I don't know what it is with me and like jackets lately, but I've been loving to find jackets at the thrift store. Um, so with that being said, I got this really cute jacket. Um, not really doing any justice. I'll insert a clip of me trying this on too. Um, this is the requirements brand and it is a size large and this was three dollars and I just you cannot beat the prices when you go thrifting y'all. It's got these buttons down three buttons. Honestly I might replace the buttons but I don't know. It's a really cute jacket. Um, it's kind of like corduroy material and I used to hate this sort of material and now I just absolutely love it no this was not mine this this was Steve's he forgot this I guess if you're interested because it's kind of neat it's like an outlet cover and it was made in Japan and this was 50 cents honestly it's pretty but yeah this he forgot this, but he picked this out. It was kind of really cute. And then what I got is, this is the first plate. I love like vintage looking plates like this. Um, this is like a mountain wood collection uh, stoneware. Oh, this was actually made in Japan too. And I paid 50 cents. 
for this plate and then I'll show you guys the other one. This is the other one. It This one is Old Brook Collection Stoneware, also made in Japan. I don't know if these are like expensive. I don't know. I normally just pick up stuff like this if I think that it's cute. I might do some research and see like if, you know, they're worth anything. Not like I'm going to sell them because they are way too cute and I don't really go thrifting for that purpose. I just go and buy stuff that I like. And so that's what I got at the other thrift store. And then the last couple of items I found, I found this really cute, um, wall art piece. Uh, this, the tag came off, but it was $4, I believe. And it says Opal House. I don't know. Oh, it's a Target brand. So this was originally from Target. And I thought that this was adorable. And then the last piece, I did not have a clip of this trying it on, but I can like make one and then show you guys. Um, it's this cute little, um, it's like green. Can you guys see a color scheme? Like what favorite color I'm currently obsessed with? Um, but yeah, this is the brand Croft and Barrow, I believe. That's a Kohl's brand, but don't quote me. And it's so soft, y'all. And this was $3.50. And I can insert a clip of me trying this on. But it's a very cozy little um, long sleeve. And that's been on my list lately. Um, just because I get cold easy at work and I need all the cozy clothes that I can find. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I got at the thrift stores today. Um, and we went into, so there's like a Smucker's like jam jelly place, um, in the area that we went and I found coffee, like Duncan, like they have Duncan, they got Folgers, they got all like Jiffy, like all those brands, like you can get super cheap. So I might as well just show you guys what I got there too. It's literally the literally literally a smucker shop and it was so funny because i told my stepdad i'm like i don't want to go in there like there's not gonna be anything that i can't live without well i got some coffee for a really cheap price so for one i got this little un <laughs> uncrustables um keeper as literally you put your little uncrustable in here and it keeps it from getting soggy <laughs> you know i mean i i just i don't know Okay, I, I don't know. These literally were $2.99 a piece. And if you see these at Walmart, they're like $13, $14 for these. So I got two. These are the Dunkin' Cold Brew Coffee Packs. You literally fill a pitcher with water and put two of these in there and let it steep in your fridge overnight. And you got some cold brew, baby. You got some cold brew. And the price for these could not beat it. And then we got some whole bean um, original Duncan for my French press because you have to have like coarsely ground beans for the French press and all my ground coffee is way too thin and it does not work. So way too fine, I guess. So I got some of this. This was, I think, four something. And we got some, obviously, you can't go to a jelly store and not buy any jelly. And you can actually only get the mixed fruit at the little smucker shop. So this was like two something. It's so cheap there. Like I was surprised. And then I got some uh, country pumpkin butter. I just could not not get this. Um, I love anything pumpkin. So yeah. And then the last thing. Oops like four dollars like 349 for some jiff peanut butter okay you can't get this for three something at walmart so yeah anyways that's kind of random but i figured i would just show you guys whatever because you know and yeah so that's going to conclude this little portion of the video so i will see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>